Welcome back, guys. Here we are in the Sky Sanctuary Zone. And we done messed up. The Death Egg is back. And it's sending a lot of its badniks to come and attack us. Luckily, Knuckles is on our side, finally. Even though we kicked the shit out of him and then, you know, a lot of pain for Knuckles, which is fine by me, because Knuckles, this entire game has been kind of a dick. Some of my... Some people really like Knuckles, and that's okay. But, to me, he's always just been this asshole. This asshole, like, emo kid until Shadow shows up. I don't know. Some of my best friends say Knuckles is their favorite character. And I'll shout out two of them right now. Uh, Preston and James. You guys know who you are. I'm not going to say any further than that, but... You know. It's okay. And say hello to Mecha Sonic. I was doing really badly there because I wanted to hear the remix of the original Sonic 1 boss thing. Which I wonder, right? There's that entire thing about Sonic Spinball and how that game, uh, they had to remove any of uh, the Dreams Come True music because they didn't have the uh, rights to it. Did they pay him off in order to use the classic boss theme from the Genesis from Sonic 1? Because that's what that was. It sounds really out of place compared to the rest of the music in this game. But, I mean, whatever. But anyway, Mecha Sonic. One of my favorite bosses in any of the uh, Sonic games. Not for that fight. I mean, that fight is just the Green Hill boss. Even though technically it's the first time anybody here has seen it. Because, you know, technically this is the first Sonic game I'm doing on the channel. Um, this is also a weird choice. Metropolis Zone? You really want us to think about Metropolis Zone again? Odd choice, but whatever. He's down for the count, too. Alright. See, I was kind of worried about making this the finale episode because technically we have like three zones to go through and one of them can get really long. But then I remember that two of those zones are only one act levels and one of and both of them are pretty short. So, uh, you know, it's kind of iffy if I should be doing this as one part, but I think I can pull it off without it being too long. It seems kind of ridiculous to make it... make it, like, you know, a shorter part, just because... you know. Anyway, you guys won't see this video until Sunday anyway, so... Alright. Getting ready for the first boss, and... Uh-oh. Now we have to fight him. Now, okay. Something I gotta say before I do anything more to him. You can see him on the left-hand side, right, side right now. Notice anything weird about his design that kind of re represents maybe Sonic's future? Longer quills. Taller. Uh skinnier body, um, dashes in the air, I wonder if this is a sign of things to come, and believe me, I think Sega predicted something here, for better or worse. But yeah, there we go, that's Sky Sanctuary Zone done. Technically, Sky Sanctuary does have an act too, but only Knuckles goes through it. And 
this is always really cool to me. I don't know what it is about this. Alright, so now we're in the Death Egg Zone. Looks a lot different than it did in the first game in Sonic 2, right? Yeah, this is pretty unrecognizable. Like, it almost seems like this is the same machine. I mean, I have no idea. Like, this is way more Star Wars. But, you know, it looks cool. I really like, the, I really dig the background, reminding me a lot of the, of Star Wars Episode 5. And I'm not a big Star Wars guy. <laughs> but yeah, I will get hit a lot here. Just warning you guys right now. Um, I really like these, like, little, uh, Temporary platforms that are created out of laser beams, those are pretty cool. I got the Elect Shield now, so I can... If I can get Hyper, I will basically be in the best spot of my life right now. But, yeah. We're almost done! Hope you guys are excited! And don't worry, I'm not gonna jump into a Sonic game like immediately after this. <laughs> Even though I probably could. But I feel like there needs to be a little bit of diversity in the channel. I'll probably record two games before I get to another Sonic. <laughs> I'll pace myself. <laughs> but, you know, what can I say when it's just the game I can jump into the quickest and, you know, talk about. I love these games. Mostly. I'll be honest right now, I'll come up and straight, straight up say it. You probably will never ever see a Sonic Spinball playthrough on this channel. Because I will never have the patience to play through that without save states. Just warning you guys up front, I don't know if you'll ever see me play spin ball. If I ever get anybody to like help co-host the channel and they are really good at pinball, then you know what, I'll do it. But until that day happens, you're not going to see it. Most of their Sonic games will be up for grabs though, as long as I have the recording equipment to do it. So I logistically can't do Sonic 06 yet because I don't have um, a capture card. I own the game, I own uh, the console it's on, technically don't have a controller right now for it, but I do have the console, but I don't have a capture card I can record PS3. And I don't have the 360 version. Um, I can't do Sonic Boom, <laughs> because while I have a Wii U, it's kind of on the fritz. Um, and again, don't have a capture card. Plus, I don't think my computer's strong enough to emulate it and record at the same time. But yeah, most of the Sonic games are pretty much up for grabs, if I can record them. But... I think I gotta do the Genesis games first. Genesis CD32X. Yes, that means I'll do Knuckles Chaotix. Um, but yeah. Alright, we're into Act 2. Uh, the recording's been going for about 8 minutes. Maybe 12 at most. Oh. <laughs> Third death, okay. That guy's kind of placed in a dickheaded spot. Oh, well, I should have tried to get that. Oh, well. Alright, so the gimmick here is anti-gravity, and 
just like anything else, it really messes with me. But I'll try to, I'm trying to get through this really fast so I can get to the last real two stages. We'll run through this. Honestly, this is the boss I'm dreading fighting the most. Because there's really no way to speed it up other than be patient, and that's no fun. <laughs> it's a cool boss, though. And I really gotta say, I really like the background, even though it's obviously just a JPEG they stretched. Like, that does not look like it was made by any, like, artist. I'm sure they tried their best to make it look okay, but, you know, it's a little... It's a little jarring. I'm sure it's just a slightly edited NASA picture or something. I know the moon in Sonic Adventure 2, or the Earth or something, was a JPEG. Something. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I might do a bonus video going through uh, this game's Sonic 3's prototype 2, but I don't know when I'll do that. Just because I might as well show that off a little bit. But, you know. Oh. Oops. I didn't know you could cancel those. Oh well. It's working out just fine. Oh. Unless you... I jumped off. I jumped off. I was like, crap, I need to go try again. There we go. Thanks for the gravity flipping back, I can control the game normally again. Oh, I really wish I could get a shield. Not even just for suit hypersonic, but like for for a mechanic I'll talk about after this. Oh well. I really like these, uh, weird elevators. And, you know, I know this joke has been made on Newgrounds, like, a ton of times, but, like, how do you think Eggman gets around? Like, legitimately. Do you think he takes all these crazy elevators and <laughs> shoots himself into a ball at, like, the speed of sound? Or what? Oh, right, because I got the electric shield, I can walk on this. Alright, here we go. This boss is a bit of a pain. Not that it's hard, it's just really slow. So the idea here is that you want to shoot the spikes into it. Not the other way around. You can't shoot the... And you know what, it's been a while since I've done this, so you'll have to, like, forgive me. I have to, like, practice a little bit. Oh, dang it, I lost the shield. Yeah, so this could go one of two ways. Either I get really fast, get through this real fast, or this takes a century. I've never been really consistent with this. Right now, it seems to be going okay. Oh no, that, that was terrible. And they can only hit them if they land on the spiked edge. Oh, dang it. Let's see, I had one there, but I didn't walk far back enough to launch it. Oh, let's see, this is where it's going to take an hour. Alright, I got another hit. A second, and that should be a hit. Yes, it is. That should be another one. Yep. Good thing. 
Good thing that you're, you're immune to the spike damage when you're taking the elevator. I don't want to lose these rings. There we go. Okay, that was actually pretty painless. What did that take a minute? And we're done with the stage. Welcome to Doomsday Zone Act 1. I love the music here too. It's the big arm theme again, but... You know what, just make this fun. Aw, oh, dang it, it changed the music. Oops. Oh well. So the reason I wanted to have rings in the shield here is because you can actually, um, die here. There's no way to get rings again. But I should be able to do this, no problem. Normally you can spin dash, but I think in 3AIR, they edited it so it'll crush you. So I'm, I don't know if that's the case, but I really don't want to try it right now. Alright, one hand is gone. Alright. And even if I do die here, I do 10... Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Even if I do die here, there's 33 Sonics to one robot in. <laughs> I got it done in one ring. That was pretty awesome. Alright. I guess the timer counts down still from Death Egg Act 2. Even though I know that's not how it normally works. There's, this does is a whole nother level. Alright, so the goal here is just to keep running. Hit Robotnik. You cannot fall off, obviously. You just gotta hit him eight times all that we have to do here. And this would be the end of the game if you didn't have all the emeralds. Here is the actual Doomsday Zone. Alright. So here we go. Collect rings. Because, you know, if you don't have a ring, you're falling to the earth. The idea here is that you're adding your time limit. So, just avoid the missiles, because while they won't hurt you, they will, like, knock you back. Apparently, Robotnik's best um, equipment here will can't get to hypersonic and all they can do is stun him. Because of that, he's trying to pace us out. Alright, so here we go. The idea here is that his missiles, if you aim them, they're okay. I'll try to correct myself here. They're heat seeking. So obviously they're picking up super hypersonic here. The idea here is that you want to aim them right into his face. That one was being stubborn. This is gonna be close, I feel. Alright, I got one. Remember, you can dash in mid-air too, so that's what I'm gonna try to do in order to speed this up. Alright, great. Only one of them apparently can hit it at a time. Come on, just... There. Alright, come on. Great. Okay. Doing good. Oh. That was it. <laughs> Done. And now... I think we've got one phase left. He's in the Death Egg robot from Sonic 2. All we gotta do is chase him down. He should know better than this. This is just straight desperation here. All you have to do is keep your rings up. Keep it hitting him. Because both of us don't have a lot of time now. Just keep, keep. 
keep it up. We can do it. We got this far. And there it is. We grab the Master Emerald, and we're done. We carry it back to Earth. Just as Tails catches us right in time. We run out of super hypersonic energy, and we grab the Master Emerald by that weird vacuum cleaner thing. And we fly it back to where it belongs. Angel Island. No, now is the floating island, but back then... Um... It was only called the floating island. So, we'll return the emerald. And, as you can see with that white glow, the island gains its power back. It starts hovering in the air. And any second now, Sonic and Tails fly off as Knuckles shows up, realizes how fucking stupid he's been, and promptly kills himself. No, oh, but anyway, that was Sonic 3! Yeah, um, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Not my favorite, not even my favorite Sonic game, but very good. And it was a blast playing through this, and I'm really excited too because this is actually the first game I've beaten for you guys on the channel. Sonic 3 AIR. And you know what, I just gotta say, Sega, you gotta do something with this. Like. This is one of the best parts of your legacy that you're just leaving behind because of some rights issue. But like, you could get the power, you could get the rights back, even if you don't have the rights to all the music. Hell, you have a whole other soundtrack you can use in worst case scenario. What are they gonna do? What could they do? Like, what is the deal with this game? Sega is acting like, you know, cancel culture on a game that's pretty much innocent. You know what? The reason it hasn't sold as well as Sonic 1 and 2 is because Sega hasn't let it. It, it doesn't have half the amount of re-releases that Sonic 1 and 2 have. But they always act like it's because of the game. But it's not. This is probably, honestly, the best pace of the original trilogy. And, you know, I, I just... I don't understand it. This game is great, guys. Like, if you haven't played it yet, get it on something. Like, it's not available on uh, Wii anymore, obviously. But you can get the PC version uh, through Steam. You can get uh, the Genesis game, of course. PS2. There's tons of collections on the PS2, GameCube, and. Uh, Xbox era consoles. There's a DS collection, which doesn't have the best emulation, but you know what? If you're desperate, there, that's an option. Uh, on the 360 and Xbox One, you can still buy it if you if you use a credit card or a virtual visa. But yeah, like this is a great game, and you K rot, you car rot. I don't know how to say that. You did a great job with this port, dude. Like. And you know what? Also, get back on my point. If you can't buy it anywhere, there are other options. If Sega doesn't want to put it out, I mean, you can find it. I'm sure there's a way you can play it. And that's Sonic 3 Knuckles. Sonic 3 AIR. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.